Hello everyone, this is me Tejas and you are watching Horizons Across, let's enjoy learning. So, in today's video, we are going to be talking about a topic that I promised to make in the last video, to the last video, to the last video. Uh, okay, okay, the point being, I promised it a long time ago but just forgot about it and didn't make it. Yes, it's none other than the composition of the universe. So, I'm not going to be talking about all the stars and moons and orbits and neutrinos and black holes and all the other stuff. I'm going to be focusing on the core components of the universe. So what are the core components of the universe? The core components of the universe are made of these three special elements. These three special elements are 1. Ordinary matter, 2. Dark matter and 3. Dark energy. So, what is all this? But before getting into all this, we should first get to know the percentage of all these elements present in our universe. So, according to this graph that I am showing you, we have 4.6% of ordinary matter present in the universe, 23.3% of dark matter present in the universe, and 72.1% dark energy present in the universe, thus making dark energy the biggest of them all. So, let's start with big, dark energy. So, what is dark energy? Well, dark energy is something that my small little brain can't comprehend. It's such a big topic that you literally need degrees to even talk about it. But, I don't have no degrees. I'm just going to be focusing on the Wikipedia stuff that is easily available. So, what is dark energy? It is in, phys in physical cosmology and astronomy, dark energy is an unknown form of energy that affects the universe on the largest scale. So basically, it's energy, but it's not energy. So what do I mean by it's energy, but it's not energy? So in the most simplest words, it is basically a form of energy, but it is an energy that affects the whole universe on the largest scale. Okay, anyways. Moving on to the second topic, dark matter. So, what is dark matter? Again, dark matter is also an incomprehensible part of astronomy and astrophysics. I need a degree to properly explain you what all this stuff is. But again, I'm just a little boy in 10th standard and have no degrees. So, I'm just going to be telling you the Wikipedia de definition and just, you know, my version of this dark matter. So. What is dark matter? Dark matter is a form of matter thought to account for approximately 85% of the matter in the universe and about a quarter of its total mass. Now, an important fact about dark matter is that dark matter is never seen by human eyes. I mean dark energy is not seen by human eyes either but it's bigger for dark matter because dark matter is apparently a form of matter just giving it a different kind of intrigue. So, because dark matter has not been observed directly, if it exists, it must directly interact with ordinary boyanic matter and radiation, except through gravity. Okay, so what this basically means is that dark matter has not yet been observed directly, so its existence is still not proven perfectly. But most of the scientists believe in its existence, some don't. So it is a big cause of debate. Again, I need a degree to talk about this stuff, so I can't really, you know, talk about this a lot. And in the end, we have just da ordinary matter. And ordinary matter is just, you know, matter. It's everything that we are made up of. So, initia so finally, we are just made up of 4.8% of the universe, which is such a small part. So, yeah. That will wrap up today's video and this is why I was not making this video for a long time. A lot of this stuff that I am talking about is way above my level. Uh, I really need degrees to talk about all this and I really have none. So I really feel that I am cheating you guys by giving you this basic information. But anyways, I guess that's the best I can do for now. And yeah, I actually want to make an important announcement kind of thing. Uh, it'll be really nice of you too, and if you put some sad music in the background, I want to create an aroma, you see. 
uh, okay, so yeah. I've decided that I'm not going to make videos over space for a while now. I mean, I'll still be making videos, but it's probably not going to be about space. You see that there's a lot of research involved about space. Not that I'm, you know, not that I don't want to research about space or anything, but it's just that I'm not able to research about space really well, and I, I just have to dig too deep. And it's just not possible for me at this point. And maybe I just didn't have enough passion for space. Any which ways, I'm not going to be making videos about space for some while. I will be making videos about space once in a while, but it's going to become way less than one years. I'm going to be making a lot of videos about a different special like uh, you know, topics and a different genre and stuff. It's not decided yet, I guess I have to look up the today's video i'm going to be talking about a new niche uh, not even niche i'm going to talk about a new topic in the next video so yeah i'm pretty excited about that i hope you are as well and i'll meet you in the next video thank you peace